So, hey guys, Chaucer here, and it's going to be my second video about PvP, where I talk a bit about things that are good to know. And in this guy, we're going to talk about units that do single target damage, and units that can do a wide damage, a wider range of enemies, so multi-target basically. Basically in OPTC in PvP, these units are preferred and much more common. I'm sure that people who have become intermediate and feel they're getting good, maybe don't want to challenge for top 500, but they know what they need to do most of the time. They know that these units are pretty common to see, and most units here are not super common. Because obviously being able to hit more than one enemy is good since you can spread the damage around. It's not like single target is inherently bad, it's just that Bandai hasn't really made a unit, many units that get the extra benefits that they should get for only target, the targeting one enemy. But yeah, we'll take a look at these 10 units and discuss them a bit and let them contrast to each other. Uh, for beginners, this Kyrie is probably one of the biggest baits, since he's very good in PvE, but awful in PvP. Ability, only striker, which is not a good class in PvP by the way. And you only get an attack up to strength after 60 seconds, so first off, the ability, not that good. Special though, you target one enemy with high attack for attack times 4 damage. And then you HP cut 3 other enemies 40%. And you target dex types enemies for 100% chance of half stats. So some of the things are pretty good. I say that this Kaido is mostly held back by his awful ability, but the special. The main thing is that it is high CT, but it lacks a lot of reliability. Like three enemies get HP cut, you don't know which ones. One enemy with high attack gets one big nuke. But you don't know what enemy or if you don't if you want to nuke that enemy, like that enemy could be very low HP, and you waste a full special to take just that enemy out, which is not good value. Half stats, I'll talk about that in a future video. Most busted thing in PvP, so that's great. But yeah, this Kaido is very much held back by the ability. And yeah, the nuke just doesn't make up for it. Queen is actually very good on defense. I'm planning to make a video about Queen in the future. Let's take a look at him. Uh, Dex focus, HP up level 7, death up level 3. Very good for survivability. These are the two most important stats for defense teams in general to survive. Special, one enemy eats 5000 damage. Targets enemies within large range for 50% chance of action bind and speed down. And I'll say this, that the main thing that makes Queen good on defense is not the nuke. That nuke is actually very bad. 5000 is not that much. Like if it was for more enemies, it would be amazing. But just for one enemy, very low value, I'd say. Like imagine if it was one special that is five units, it will be 1000 each. That will not either be that amazing. But... The big thing which makes Queen good is the action buy, which we won't talk in this video, we'll save that for the future. So an example of a unit who is good despite of the single target. Smoothie, one of many disappointing PvP legends. Rumble ability, like speed up, attack up, HP up. Speed up and attack up are not the most important ones, like you really want to see HP up and death up preferably, so this already makes Mufi not super optimal. Let's see if the special saves her. You target enemies within large range for paralysis. Targets one enemy with high special CT for special CT 50% delay. And targets one enemy with low current HP for attack 3 times damage up to 2 times. So basically what makes this bad first, the main effect, paralysis, is not good in PvP. It's not useless, but it's not something that carries a unit. Delaying special city is actually very nice, but since it's just one unit, this is very much prone to RNG. We have a new parry rumble re recruit, Don Jin Jiao, who is actually very annoying with the special city delay, but he targets more units. And he had a damage to one enemy, at least like 
what makes this extra bad is that it's low current HP. Like, the enemy might as well be dead. Uh, the bonus is that Smoothie can attack twice, so if she kills with the first hit, she still has the second one, so she can potentially kill two units. But yeah, I don't feel like the damage really makes up for it, should have been targeting more units than one. Uh, if you look at an OG PvP rare recruit, which I was very excited for back in the day, Calgaram Nolan, uh, Rumble ability. Basically, they make themselves better the longer time goes. The goal is for them to use their special a lot. I'm not even max their special. That's kind of funny. I must have missed that. But the other special buffs drone attack and speed. And they target one enemy for 2.5 times attack. And this wasn't awful in the beginning, but now it's actually pretty awful, even with the low CT. And it's also totally random, so... Might have very good value, might have no value. And yeah, the damage just isn't there. This could easily have targeted more units and actually be pretty usable today. Finally, we have the best of these single targets and this might showcase how you can make single target good. And it just also showcases that to know if a unit is good or not, you need to actually understand and read what they do. But Pell... Maybe the one of the best PvP rare recruits. Powerhouse, attack up level 5, CT speed up level 3, Dex HP up level 5, Death up level 5. So basically, Pell for a color covers the two most important stats in ability, HP and Death, for a good level. He also has the bonus to buff Powerhouse further, both attack and special CT, who are the other two very important stats. So he covers every important stats in his ability. And the special, first he buffs Powerhouse Claws, which includes himself. And he also gives Guard up to all enemies and Death up. Death up in particular is important, Guard isn't bad either. And then he targets one enemy with high attack for attack 2 times damage, which we talked about is not that high, but he targets them 4 times. So to demonstrate why Pell is good, I usually lead with him in Dex teams nowadays. It's that he gives defensive backbone with his abilities. It makes you harder to kill. He doesn't really do much in the beginning of games in terms of damage. But he helps buff up attack to some units and himself. Buff the defenses further. And then end game when you've shipped down the team. I have had many games where he has been able to kill four units with one special. Because he just... Picks them off one by one when they are at low HP. That's always super satisfying to see. So I'd say this is an example of how to do a single target unit. You make the kit better to compensate for it. Like this is an amazing kit. And sure, make him target only one unit. Make it only a certain amount of damage. But in this case it hits four times. Which will not be good if not for the fact that everything else makes up for it. So... I'd say this is a very well-designed unit in general, especially for a PvP rare recruit. Let's contrast these with uh, multi-target units. I took one from each color. Uh, kid is the kid of strength offense, of course. I'll probably make a video about him and other units in the future because he's not that reliable. But damage output is pretty amazing. Medium range, ignoring death, 1.5 times damage, so... Has the potential to hit every unit, ignoring the, their defensive stats, 1.5 times damage. Like, if you build a team around Kid, and you face Dex in particular, this can kill every teammate. Happens regularly. Or sometimes you hit nobody. And yet, the Kid is definitely carried by a special. His ability is awful. So you really need to build around pushing the Kid. But yeah, this is one unit that kill, kill the entire opposing team. Doflamingo is similar, not as good as he was back in the day, but not bad. Buffs Dex teammates and Riven teammates. And yeah, Riven is just a bonus, Dex is the important one. Death up in speed, not optimal, but not bad either. And yeah, basically Doffy does more damage the more times goes. And he's within a large range, so he's a good chance of hitting everybody. And eventually he'll hit with one attack 
two times damage, then one times damage, then one times damage, then one times damage again. So you end up doing tons of damage. And especially by the end game when units are chipped, he usually just wave clears everybody. Uh, if we take Kiku and Iso, who are a bit special with their special, so to say. Ability buffs speed, death of quick, and also gives special CT up. And reduces special CT of strength units. So very good versus strength, which is the main use of quick. And then you target two enemies for attack one times damage, but this is six times. And you also have the chance of uh, special binding strength units, so not getting hit by their specials, which is very useful. But yeah, this sounds very weak, but in practice, it ends up doing very good damage. So it's kind of hard to explain, the special is pretty unique, but it's actually better than it looks on paper. I don't really run them in my main team anymore, but they're a good sub, in my opinion, for quick. Top Music A6 plus Uta. Uh, buffs HP and attack of Driven. And you also get self attack up, especially CT up when you do damage. Not the best ability, but not bad either. But it's carried by the special. You target enemies within a large range for 100% chance of half attack and speed. And give special speed, CT speed down. And you do attack times 4 damage. So large range, good potential to hit all damage. You neuter your stats a bit and then you just go, go give a really big blow. So this is super reliable and super high damage and has other good effects as well. One of the best PvP units right now, I'd say. Odin also very good, staple on Psy. Free Spirit, attack up, HP up level 6, death up level 3. And Sai gets an extra buff in the beginning. A special targets free spirit class teammates for attack up level 7. And you target the enemy within large range, horizontal, for attack 3.5 times. And you also have a 70% chance of action bind. So really good damage, you have the chance of binding. Uh, it's not the most reliable, it says large range but then horizontal. So there are times when this Odin also whips every special. But yeah, every unit I mentioned here, except for maybe Kiko and Iso, has the chance of just killing everything in one blow. And you, if you contrast it to this, where the biggest value is Pell, and he can sometimes kill four units with one special in the optimal conditions, and that's like the only great one. Yeah, uh, that's one way, reason to really look at what type of damage you do. The fewer targets you hit, the less use useful in general. But remember, it's just in general because it in the end it depends on the content of the ability and the special. You can't really look at one thing and say it's bad or it's good. But yeah, I hope this video was informative. I'll try and make one of these per week. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.